Okay. So I just kill all the creatures. Seems easy enough. Especially considering I almost got massacred. You're wounded. Do you need aid? I am a priest of Saren Ray. Ooh, a skilled healer. I have done all I can, but it will take some time for my strength to return in full. But worry not. I will make my way to the trading post nearby and wait there as I make my recovery. All right. The beasts are defeated. What now? Now, if my knowledge serves, the fog should weaken and eventually clear entirely. We need only wait. Oh. Perhaps somewhere more hospitable? How did you get here? Investigating this fog. I believe you have already discerned that it is magical in nature. I serve Serenray, goddess of sunlight. Discovering an evil magic that isolated living creatures from the sun alarmed me in no small way. I was able to locate the place the fog originated from, but was too presumptuous and almost got into the beast's teeth. Hmm. Well, yeah, with those beasts dead, I have other matters to attend to. You saved my life. I have no treasures or relics, but I have knowledge and the divine power of a priest. I wish to aid you in your journey. Alas, my wounds won't allow me to join you right now. I will travel to the trading post. I hope to be able to repay you for my life once I recover from these wounds. Sure, I could always use another healer. Fucking... Lord knows Harem is too fucking useless and busy being sad about death. Or not being sad, but... I don't know. Just being... I don't even know what to call him. Regardless, he's a piece of shit. Cool. Crystal clear and radiate to a gentle... Oh my god, is it healing me? Perfect. This is my path. Walk into the water, please, Thorkin. What? Miss? How is it missing? How could it possibly be missing? There we go. For fuck's sake. At least I now have somewhere I can go heal without resting. Oh, I didn't even realize I had that. Apparently Mr. Dwarf Man smuggles beer with him. It is done, it is done indeed! Loot? What is this loot? Oh, some grass. A token of the Dryad. How many of these do exist? Alright. So now, if I go out into the mists, what happens? Detect magic. Okay, whatever. Literally nothing happened. That wasn't very helpful. There. Oleg's trading post. Nope. That's not what I wanted. Journal is what I wanted. Yeah, there we go. Fuck it. Everyone's at full health. I can fuck up some random encounter people. No stopping now. It's another one of these where I have to go looking for the people that are trying to kill me. That makes no sense. Okay, it's another spitting giant centipede. This is for you. 
That's so much easier than it used to be. Oh, right. My strength betrays me. As does everyone else's. Good. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, well, no one tried to kill us. Holy shit. The speed is real! Meta magic is a useful tool that can make your favorite spells more powerful. Yep, that sounds about right. I never get to read loading screens. Greetings. The, ten the nymph's tender voice comes to you softly. The scent of flowers and evening dew is dizzying. In this dark hour, I had not even dreamed of encountering someone in these lands who could stand against the one who blights me. But you appeared, and you brought hope along with you. With the strength of the fog fading, I am able to show you the way to the Stag Lord's fortress. Please go there. Slay our enemy before he can strike another blow. Stag Lord's fort has been revealed! Yes. What happens after I defeat the Stag Lord? The nymph casts her eyes down for a moment. And you would... Would like to see me again? Then yes, of course, I'll come to you once the Tormentor is gone for good. I really hope to have a chance to show you the true beauty of these lands. The meadows, the flowers. Will you help me in the battle? I cannot, the nymph lowers her head. My power is barely enough to make a slight tear through the veil of the fog. Keeping the way open to you is all I can do to help. You can count on me! I'll deal with the Stag Lord and his minions. No one will ever harm you anymore. Your words resonate inside my soul. Now I can see that I chose the right person, worthy to hear my pleas. The nymph leans forward and places something in your hand. Should you lose, my heart will stop with yours. But should you win, the sun shall rise once more over these lands. In its rays, in the ring dance of blooming life, we shall meet again. I leave you a small gift, a token of hope, and a reward that awaits you after all these hardships. Farewell! No. Take care. Cool, I got something called the nymph's gift. Hmm. I wonder, does that... Huh. I wonder... Okay, so it's not showing up, so whatever. Huh? It's a monk weapon? That explains a bit. Jihad Kavkin, a venerable priest of Erisil, he wants a word with you. I see. It is done. There's Jihad. How may I serve you? Jihad no nods warmly. How may I serve you? What services do you offer? I can sell you various divine spell scrolls. They're quite useful, even if you don't have anyone in your party who can read them. 
While you're in this settlement, or indeed any place with a cleric willing to help, you need openly open your bag and choose the scroll you wish to cast. I'll be happy to read it for you. However, take care out in the wilderness. A scroll is useless without someone who can read it. To, a scroll on your to use a scroll on your journeys, you'll need a spellcaster whose magical training covers such spells, or someone skilled in magical devices. I found the Temple of the Elk and killed the beasts there. Christian told me how you helped him at the Temple of the Elk. Thank you for heeding my request. My heart is calm and filled with confidence that I've followed the will of my god. I would like to reward your bravery. I possess no treasure, hmm. but please take this as a token of appreciation. Do you understand the true meaning of your visions now? In their truth, these visions, they were the voice of Erastil himself. Quiet. But clear. Before all this happened, I believed Erastil had turned his back to me. But now, I see clearly. He has shown me divine mercy, for he has led me to you and invited me to aid in a fellow priest's deliverance. Lady Serenray and Erastil walk the paths of the gods hand in hand, and so must their servants as well. Well, sort of makes sense. Undoubtedly, still very young, and youth is a time of naivete and confusion. But I see kindness and strength of spirit in him, traits indispensable to a priest. I sense that all that's transpired thus far is only the beginning, and the future promises great things for Tristian and for you. This is why Arastil led me to the Temple of the Elk. Day and night I pray for you and for my young friend. May the stag god lead you down the true path. Yes. As you wish. That's why I'm here. As oh. you wish. What exactly would you like to know? Tell me about your past. My story? Why not? You deserve to know it. I am a priest of Arastil. And Galt is my homeland. You can imagine what it's like following the teachings of the stag god in a realm torn by discord and strife. Possibly. Rebellion and suspicion are the pillars of Galt. Led by Erastil, I tried to guide my flock to embrace tranquility and balance and guard them from hasty judgment until I fell from grace myself. Foolish. Foolish old John. Uh. My misdeeds cast a shadow over my life and service. In search of redemption and a balm for my soul, I took to the road. I had come nearly to despair when Erastil sent me a vision of the Temple of the Elk. I knew that very moment that the stag god had shown me the way to redemption. Well, if you truly wish to... What know, did you do to anger him? I have to start from a long time back. Werewolves preyed upon the lands around my village. They murdered people for fun or sport and left the corpses to rot on the roads. One night, they broke into a young woman's house and dragged her into the streets. Okay. One evening, a traveler came to our tavern, tattered and dirty from days on the road like so many others roaming gold. He sat quietly in the corner of the tavern, drinking cheap ale, and in an instant... 